Hey guys, in today's video, I am checking out a new fisheye lens. This one was sent to me by Makey. Looks like a large lens on the front. This is a 6 to 11 millimeter APS-C f3.5 fisheye. So let's see what comes in the box. This is the box that the lens comes in. There's a nice picture of the lens on the front. 6 to 11 millimeter APS-C f3.5 and multi-coated. Nothing on this side. Another picture on the back and some specifications for you. So let's open this thing up, take this lens out first, and you get pretty standard stuff. There's a little microfiber cloth to wipe the lens down, a guarantee card, a soft carrying pouch that's just black, unlabeled, and here is the lens. So it is a pretty long lens, and it does have some weight to it around the back, metal mount, no electronic connections. This is manual only. You can see that the lens element is way down in there in the back. Around the front, a Makey branded plastic lens cap, and then a lens hood that I believe is removable. Yes, there we are. And now you can see that front lens element. Makey fisheye zoom lens, 6 to 11 millimeters, uh, f3.5. The aperture ring is at the bottom. Well damped, declicked. Let's see if we can see an aperture. Nope, maybe not. The blades are tiny. Now the focus ring is in the middle, so it's just listed as far and near, which is interesting. You get about a quarter turn. It's pretty stiff, but decently damped. And then this top ring is your zoom. So you can go from six millimeters to 11 six to 11. This is stiff. Uh, it's not as smooth as the focus ring. Uh, feels like there's a little bit of like metal on plastic noise. So that is it for the lens. It's all metal construction, fairly heavy as I mentioned before. Let's put this thing on the camera and see what sort of images we get with it. Here is the lens mounted on my A6000. It is quite long and quite heavy. I weighed this lens at 554 grams, and when you compare that to the camera itself, the A6000 body only weighs in at about 326. So the lens is almost twice the weight of the camera body on its own, but this is how it looks. The finishing on the lens is nice, has that red pinkish ring around the front. It is kind of metallic -y, so in certain situations, it does look a little pink. And here is the lens around the front. You'll see some blue, green, and purple hues because of that multi-coating that Makey uh, advertises. The whole thing is quite front heavy. It seems like this piece right here is kind of just like a tube extension um, for it to work with the APS-C sensor, if I were to guess. Um, but that is how it looks on the camera. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some sample photos and some videos using this lens on my A6000. Here we go. So that is it for the sample photos and videos. So let's talk about this thing. Um, number one, as I mentioned when I opened this thing up and when I put it on the camera, this is a heavy lens. It's not something that is very comfortable to take with you. 
Um, it's one of the largest lenses I have in my collection currently and certainly one of the heaviest as well. So if you're going for kind of sleek, compact, this is not the lens to take with you. I was thinking about my feelings towards this lens over the last couple of days and it's sort of difficult to describe. Normally when I get a lens to review, I get very excited. I want to run out and use it, uh, take sample photos, etc, etc. With this lens, that wasn't really the case. Um, I can't say that I was overly eager to take this thing out with me when I was going around town running errands. Um, it just wasn't, I don't know if it was the size or what it was, but it just wasn't a lens that really tugged on my heartstrings. I think what it all stems from is a number of things. Uh, number one is most recently, I just reviewed the Makey 25 millimeter F2 which is a manual focus prime with excellent build quality. And I think that that is Mickey's best lens to date. Having to review this thing after that lens really puts it at a disadvantage because I don't think that this lens is up to that 25 millimeter standards. And I realized that right away because the first sample that I received from Mickey was broken in the package. The front lens element was nice and loose, and so I had to send that one back and get this one that I'm holding in front of me right now. So right from the beginning, I questioned this lens's build quality. The other thing is I am also currently taking samples with the excellent Laowa 9mm f2.8 0D or zero distortion lens, and this one is a lot more exciting to use, and I find myself grabbing this when I'm on the go instead of this uh, giant fisheye lens. So anyway, let's talk about the overall performance of this thing. I have to be honest here, I'm a bit disappointed in that regard. I mounted it on my a6000, and what I immediately noticed is that the lens really only occupies the entire frame, the APS-C sensor, when you're about at 10 millimeters. Um, so you get from 10 millimeters to about 11 millimeters of no vignetting, Anything below 10 millimeters, you get serious vignetting, and then it really just becomes a circular fisheye um, when you are at six millimeters. And that being said, I find it difficult to figure out who is going to be using this lens, let's say at seven and a half millimeters, or at nine and a half millimeters, or at eight millimeters, where you'll get a shot that's a semicircle, but it's cut off on the top and the bottom. I just don't see much application for something like that. Um, if you want a circular fisheye, you might as well go out and buy the circular fisheye lens that Mickey makes, which is a 6.5 millimeter f2, um, and that's $100. And if you want a true wide angle, you probably aren't looking for a wide angle at 10 or 11 millimeter that still has that fisheye effect in the corners with a slight bit of vignetting. So this lens really tries to be two lenses in one but I don't think that it's a particularly good lens in either case. If you're looking for a circular fisheye, optically I still think that the Makey 6.5 millimeter f2 is a little bit sharper and better than this thing. And if you're looking for a wide angle at about 10 to 12 millimeters, the Rokinon 12 millimeter f2 is going to completely blow this lens away in optical sharpness. Over the last few days, I've been trying to figure out who this lens is intended for, and I still haven't come up with that answer. That is really it for my review of this thing. Um, in the end, I would say skip it and either get the Rokinon 12, which is excellent, or if you really do want a circular fisheye, get the Makey 6.5 F2 and uh, pocket the difference of about $150 use that for another lens down the line. Um, so that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of your likes, comments, and support. Stay tuned for more. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of the samples with this thing and what you think of this lens overall. Dang, it's pretty heavy. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, bye-bye.